At a racetrack, a man named Guang Wei won a horse bet. Risking all his money, Guang Wu bet on horse number 5. Guang Hui then went to a casino to play gambling. With a few games, he was able to win the poker gambling up to 70,000 Hong Kong dollars. A man who owns the casino named Boss Ru saw Guang Wei's game from a distance. There, Guang Wei was with his two friends named Uncle Hua and Fat Dog. Uncle Hua warned Guang Wei to stop playing because the money was enough to pay off debts to loan sharks. Feeling on fortune got his hand, Guang Wei denied Uncle Hua's advice, then continued the game. When Guang Wei had a good card, he bet all his money. However, it turns out that his opponent has a better card, namely four of a canned. Seeing that Guang Wei was angry, then left the place in defeat. While walking in a crowd, he accidentally met his ex-wife named Lixi or Li Chick. Seeing that, Guang Wei seemed unhappy and left her. The next day, Guang Wei seemed to be waiting for someone at his haircut place. Fat Dog asked him if he was worried about the loan sharks coming to collect his debts. Guang Wei said not to worry because Uncle Hua had set aside $10,000 from last night's gambling to pay the interest on their debt. A customer came in. He was Park Chong, a teacher and also an old schoolmate of Guang Wei. He intended to get a haircut there. Instead of cutting his hair, Wang Yu gave him a wig so that he looked cool and can started to attract his favorite woman. Not long after, Lixi came there to meet Guang Wei. Guang Wei was not happy with her presence and told her to get out of there. Lixi said that she came there with her son and also said that her son was Guangzhou's flesh and blood. Lixi also brought a DNA test letter in case Guang Wei didn't believe her and wanted to prove it. Lixi wanted to leave her son named Liang there for one month and gave 50,000 Hong Kong dollars. Liang then went in and sat in the haircut chair with the earphone in his ear. After that, Lixi left them. Guang Hui then ordered Uncle Hua to cut Liang's hair. But when he wanted to cut it, Liang went berserk. That because of his mother's message, Wang Wei was the one who would cut his hair. Liang only remembered her mother's last message, which made him flew around. So that made the items there fell apart. Chang Hu saw that, then said that he also had students like that. On the bus, Lixi reminisces about her past with Guang Wei, which led to her leaving him in anger. Lixi went to Guang Wei who was gambling and was not happy about Lixi's presence. He got angry and poured water on Lixi's face which made her leave. Guang Wei who saw the tried to chase him, but he was stopped by debt collectors who were looking for him. Some time later, Chong came with a woman named Angelina or Miss Ma. She was a worker at the social service. After seeing Liang's condition, Miss Ma then said that Liang had autism but not severe autism and could still behave like other normal people. She also said that his cell phone had notes and alarms installed to remind his of his daily activities. The fat who read Liang's ID said that he was a good luck or fortune charm. Because Liang was born in the rabbit zodiac, with the horoscope Aries. Then Miss Ma said that if they couldn't afford to take care of Liang, she would contact social services to take Liang to a shelter. Hearing that Guang Wei tried to behave well because Liang was his source of income, Guang Wei then took Liang to his messy house. Guang Hui then gave him a plastic bag of instant noodles to eat and told Liang to cook by himself. He also said that if it wasn't for his mother's money, Guang Hui would have kicked Liang out of there. Guang Hui then went to the casino to play gambling because he had gotten fresh money from Lixi. That night, it tried many gambling games and fortunately, whatever gambling they played, they always won. The next day, Guang Hui returned to his house. He was surprised to see the clean condition of his house because Liang tidied up all the things that were there. Seeing that Guang Wei was happy because Liang was useful, Liang got an alarm and told him to eat. Guang Wei then took him to eat well at a restaurant because his heart was happy, but he only ate noodles there. Guang Hui then took him to the reflection massage place. He also brought a card to prove that Liang was really a lucky boy for him. After a few tries and always getting good cards, Guang Wei then took Liang to the casino. And sure enough, Guang Wei won a lot there. But Liang heard his alarm going on and told him to go to sleep immediately. Even though Guang Wei held him back, the warning still made Liang really want to get out from there immediately. While Guang Wei was asleep, he was awakened by Tart and brought Taizi Ji, a lone shark who won collected his debt. Taizi collected his debt of $85,000, knowing that Guang Wei won a lot because of gambling, then Guang Wei paid all his debts. After they left, Guang Wei woke Liang up to invite him to play gambling. But Liang remained asleep. Guang Wei decided to play gambling there alone by himself, and it made him lose a lot, and it was seen by Taizi. In the morning, Liang woke up. He saw a mouse there and it scared him. Using a broom, he tried to catch the rat and made a mess of the whole house. When Guang Wei came into the house, he saw the mess. Guang Wei was angry, because he had lost gambling plus seeing his house in such a mess. Guang Hui then took it all out on Liang by using his belt. He tried to slash Liang. Liang, who saw his cell phone fall, tried to pick it up but he fell and hit his head on the table, making him bleed. 
Wang Wu was shocked and also Chong who suddenly entered there. They then took him to the doctor to cure Liang. Miss Ma, who was there, told Chong that it was better to take Liang to his social service center. Because she saw that Guang was unable to take care of Liang. Especially since he's addicted to gambling. Chong then talked to Guang Wei. He blamed Guang Wei for leaving him for two days and also taking Liang to the casino. Guang Wei, who was still upset, then left them there and went to the cell phone service to repair Liang's broken cell phone. A story was flashback. It tells of how Guang Wei and Lixi met for the first time. Lixi works as a social worker and hears orders from his boss to meet with Guang Wei. Because in Guang Wei's place, Guang Wei accommodates troubled children to work on their new lives. Lixi also brings a child named Anru who suddenly steals a wallet and is caught by people. Lixi was angry, but Guang Wei restrained him because children like them should be dealt with patiently. Some time later, Guang Wei saw Lixi who was being threatened by someone. It turned out that An Rui was caught red-handed selling drugs from that person. Guan Wei then approached the Guanto and said to just let them go if you don't want the police to come to this place. They then left there and a few days later, Guan Wei also joined in sports with all of them. While they were running, Guan Wei expressed his feelings to Lixi and asked her to marry him. And the request was approved. The story returns to the present. Arriving home, Guan Wei apologized for his actions and asked Liang to repay him. But don't hurt his face with a bottle. Liang hit his head until it bled and fainted. After treating the wound on his head, they then went home on a bus. Wang Wu was curious about the music that Liang always listened to using an earphone. When Guang Wu listened to it, it turned out to be a recorded voice from Lixi that made Guang Wu touched. The next day, they become closer and closer. Guang Wu also recorded his son and stylized himself like Bruce Lee. They then spent time together like a son and father. As they ate noodles together at a stall, Guang Wu asked Liang where his father was. Liang said that he had asked his mother many times, but he only got angry from his mother until he didn't want to ask about it anymore. While at Guang Wei's haircut, Liang was busy with his activities by tidying up and cleaning the place. While they were having fun, Taizi entered with his men with the intention of collecting Guang Wei's debt. Uncle Hu was surprised that Guang Wei had not paid off his debt. Guang Wei said he had paid it off, but he borrowed another $50,000 again while gambling. They then found $2,000 as interest on the debt. Suddenly from behind, Liang hit Taizi on the head with a mirror. Seeing that, Wang Wei told Liang to run away from there. Liang, Wang Wei, and Chong ran away from them, and they arrived at a hill. Their Chong told him to call the police, but he didn't want to and chose to solve the problem himself and asked Kong to look after Liang. Arriving in his haircut place, Wang Wei begged Taizi to forgive his son. Suddenly from behind, it turned out that Liang and also Chong were caught by Taizi's men. Guang Wei asked for his forgiveness and told him to just beat himself to death. After beating Guang Wei several times, Taizi then intended to avenge Liang. Guang Wei, who saw this, took his razor and held Taizi hostage. Suddenly from outside someone entered, who turned out to be Boss Ru, which made Taizi and his men bow and fear him. Boss Ru said that he wanted haircut there. He had also said that this place was his usual haircut. When he more trim his hair, Boss Ru said to call him and Ru, who turned out to be a child who used to be sheltered by Guang Wei. The next day, his haircutting scene was a buzz. Chong told Guang Wei that autistic children do repetitive movements. He also said that when they ran while being chased by Taizi's men yesterday, Liang ran very strongly. Then Chong advised Guang Wei to take him to practice long-distance running. The next day, Guang Wei and Liang came to accompany Chong, who was training his students. Chong asked Liang to follow them. But he didn't want to run because Guang Wei just kept quiet. Liang then pulled him and invited him to run, making him limp and fall there. After some time, they often ran and spent time together. They also often take pictures and share time together. While they were running, they accidentally passed by a videotron that showed a desert. Liang said that the desert was a place that his mother really liked. It was already the 29th day. Before handing Liang back to his mother, Guang Wu cut Liang's hair. Guang Wei then said, How are you feeling right now? Liang then said that he didn't want to separate with him. Chong then came in and brought some food for them. While they were eating, Liang's cell phone rang. Guang Wei took the call and was shocked. They found themselves in a hospital room. They later discovered that Lixi was suffering from stomach cancer and that she didn't have a long time to live. Liang then slept next to his mother and asked her to wake up. Not long after, she woke up. After saying a few words to Liang, she smiled happily at Liang and Guang Wei who were there. Then she died, leaving them all behind. Some time later, Liang and Guang Wei reached Lixi's house. Their Guang Wei seemed to be able to see the past of how Lixi and Liang grew up and how she took care of Liang. Guang Yui then met with Boss Ru. 
Ruth and give a check containing money and also a place that Liang could sleep. But Liang said that he had to be with his father. He could already take care of him for himself, and maybe he could take care of him when he was old. Liang felt sad about losing his mother. He seemed lazy to do any activities. Guaimui, on the other hand, seemed determined to run after seeing the desert videotron. He continued to train himself. Morning, noon, night to always practice running. And for the first time, Liang called Guanghui as a father. The time came when the marathon race was held. Guanghui and Liang also participated in the race and also Chong and Miss Ma. While running, Liang fell down. Then Guanghui helped him until they reached the finish line together. Some time later, Guanghui and also Lai Yang were running in a desert. They walked and seemed to be looking for a place. It turned out that the place was the location where Lixi wanted to go. Guanghui then took out Lixi's ashes. Together with Lai Yang, they sprinkled the ashes. And the movie was end.